DNA in detail. Last time we talked about DNA, we talked about it in broad senses. We um, talked about how DNA basically makes protein. So I'll bring it together and talk in more detail. Start with a bone. We're going to look inside of the bone marrow. A long time ago, we talked about bone marrow. We talked about the high altitude unit to make more red blood cells. So this I just drew cut out, and inside this bone, we have our bone marrow. Inside that bone marrow are many, many cells. We're just going to look at one. This small little guy, we're going to call this early red blood cell. Inside that early red blood cell, we have our nucleus. Let's label it nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we have our DNA. Now we're going to talk about DNA and what's inside that DNA and that code that we use. So I'm going to draw what's inside. And these are considered rungs of a ladder. And this ladder is DNA. And this is where the code is. This code is what makes you who you are. So we have A and T and they have pairings. We're going to talk about those pairings. We have G's and C's and the code or how they form is important. These pairings are what we call DNA to DNA pairings. A pairs with T, T pairs with A, G pairs with C, and therefore C pairs with G. That is the code. This code and how they come in A's and T's and G's and C's will make a specific protein. So this is the code to make protein. Draw out protein. And this protein that I just drew out is hemoglobin. We're going to look at how hemoglobin is made in even more detail.